Honorable Dr. Ifremi Wangainambete, Minister for Health and Medical Services, Mr. Masayuki Tachiri, Regional Director, ADB's Pacific Sub Regional Office in Fiji, Mr. Sheldon Yet, UNICEF Pacific Representative, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Yandra Vinaka, good morning. First of all, I'd like to send my deepest condolences to the families who have lost their loved ones to COVID-19 in Fiji. I hope that you will find comfort in your heart during these difficult times. I wish to thank the Ministry of Health and Medical Services and UNICEF for inviting me to this auspicious occasion. On behalf of the government and people of Japan, I am honored to hand over the medical equipment and supplies procured by UNICEF to the government of the Republic of Fiji. We are pleased to work in close collaboration with UNICEF. Japan is funding worth 3 million US dollars to provide this support to Fiji and 13 other countries in the region. The equipment includes around 4,600 cover rolls and 12 oxygen concentrators, which are aimed at supporting the critical role that the Ministry of Health and Medical Services is undertaking in keeping Fiji safe from COVID-19. I am pleased to say that this support is one of a number of ongoing programs that the government of Japan is providing to Fiji in response to COVID-19. Similar to this support through UNICEF, we provided funding worth 1.4 million US dollars to UNDP and 123,000 US dollars to International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies to boost Fiji's response capacity for COVID-19. In addition, the government of Japan will also be supporting the procurement of medical equipment worth approximately 10 million Fijian dollars through our bilateral grant assistance economic social development program signed in June. At this juncture, I would commend the Fijian government for its sound leadership in effectively guiding the nation through the challenges of COVID-19. The Ministry of Health and Medical Services, under the esteemed leadership of the Minister Wangai Namdete, has been working tirelessly at the forefront of the, this battle to keep us all safe. I would also like to extend our appreciation to UNICEF for the successful implementation of this important project. I conclude with confidence that this project will further strengthen the friendship between the people and governments of Japan and Fiji. <coughs> Thank you very much. Mr. Wanapeti, Ambassador Amora, Regional Director Tachiri, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to be here with you today. Like my colleagues, let me also express our sorrow for the loss to the families of those people who have lost loved ones to COVID-19 and our thanks to the effective leadership of the government of Fiji for ensuring that this disease is so effectively tackled and ensuring that this population of this country, the population of the Pacific remains safe. Fiji really is a model for the Pacific and for all countries of how to contain this disease and how to ensure that uh, uh, so healthcare services continue while populations remain safe. Let me also say that the supplies you see here really represent 
are, and are a symbol of coordination and cooperation. As my colleagues have quite rightly said, the supplies are being coordinated by the government of Fiji and by the Joint Incident Management Team. There are separate tranches of supplies from the government of Japan and from the Asian Development Bank. Both the government of Japan and the Asian Development Bank are key members of the consortium, members and, and partners that are doing all they can to keep populations safe. But they're working in coordination with others. Our friend from, friends from the World Health Organization, our friends from other bilateral partners and multilateral partners, all of us making sure the right supplies get to the right place at the right time. These supplies indeed are only a fraction of the supplies that are coming. They're coming in staggered waves. Uh, but these supplies will also go to some 180 health centers throughout that country and are critical not just for COVID-19, but just as importantly for ensuring that essential healthcare services can continue. The focus of the world is on COVID-19 and rightly so. But we also need to make sure that other essential health services can continue day to day, that mothers feel safe and secure bringing their children to health centers, and that all the other elements of routine health can continue. These supplies will go a long way in helping that as well. Again, we want to thank the leadership of the government of Fiji and the Ministry of Health in particular, and the excellent strong partnership of our partners from the government of Japan and ADB and the generosity of the people of Japan and board of the Asian Development Bank. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, Nisambula Binaka. ADB is very pleased to uh, join this important uh, occasion uh, to hand over uh, essential medical supplies uh, to the Fiji government. I'd like to start from the uh, express my condolences uh, for the families uh, who had this uh, recent sad incidents. And also I'd like to thank uh, the Ministry of Health and also the other frontline workers in Fiji government and also the beyond uh, who really managed to contain the uh, COVID-19 outbreak. Um, I would like to say that Fiji is one of the rare countries where we can enjoy this kind of gathering. Um, it is not possible in many countries. Uh, we support and I also like uh, the thank and also commend the achievement of the uh, Fiji government uh, for this. Today we are delivering uh, the essential medical supplies, as you see here today, uh, medical equipment, including gloves, uh, the gowns, and also oxygen concentrators. I'd like to thank first the, our partners, UNICEF, uh, which procure and also deliver this um, essential uh, supplies. We have been working closely with ministries, UNICEF, and other partners through Joint Incidents Management Team, uh, which, critical, uh, which have a critical role to identify and also coordinate all the medical and the health sector uh, supports. And we are very proud to be part of that uh, overall framework. We also thank the other uh, workers and also in front line, which really provide services for the people. And that is very critical now and also in the future. And uh, I really hope that these critical supplies will keep, um, uh, <clears throat> protect these people in the front line. I think that is a very, very critical, uh, not only for that uh, workers itself, but also to protect the citizens in the Fiji uh, as a whole. We understand that the Fiji government is thinking uh, about the future, um, gradual opening of the borders, and also the gradual recovery of the economy in the longer term, in a very careful and also considered manner. And that this kind of medical supplies uh, will be very critical for that phase, and more will be needed in the future. So ADB would like to assure uh, further and continued support to Fijian government, uh, led by the Honorable Minister and the Medical um, Health Ministry team, uh, to keep containing the COVID-19. Uh, we 
have this time uh, 2.5 million Fijian dollar worth uh, of the medical supply and the goods and the first batch of delivery is today. And we understand that we'll have a several batch of the deliveries in coming uh, days, um, thanks to the help of the UNICEF. Uh, we are also discussing with the Ministry of Health for the next round of the financial support and that is coming underway through the Asia Pacific Disaster Relief Fund. Uh, and also I'd like to acknowledge that special facility is uh, financed by the owner general support from government of Japan. So I'd like to thank uh, Your Excellency. We also have a various support to Fijian governments. We recently signed the budget support uh, loan agreement with the Ministry of Economy. And also we will work further in the various uh, support to the Fijian government. And we, I'd like to conclude my short remarks just to assure our full and also continued support uh, to contain the COVID-19. Thank you very much. The Ambassador of Extraordinary and Plenty Potentially of Japan, His Excellency. Masahiro Mura, uh, Regional Director of ADB's uh, Pacific uh, Sub-Regional Office in Fiji, Mr. Masahiro Tashiri, and the UNICEF uh, Pacific Representative uh, in the Pacific uh, Sheldon Yet, uh, and uh, also uh, members of the Ministry of Health that are here. Uh, it's uh, another wonderful day to be able to meet together again, and, uh, uh, and on this uh, important occasion, uh, receive uh, this support that's uh, coming through to the people of Fiji, but also are here, also to the many nations around the Pacific, around uh, uh, the important uh, uh, PPE and also the uh, oxygen concentrators that are here before us to help in the fight for COVID-19. You are aware that uh, we have uh, 220 facilities all over Fiji, and I hear that a significant amount of these facilities will receive uh, this uh, important uh, equipment and also the important uh, uh, PPEs that's uh, useful for the fight that we have. On uh, Wednesday, I went down to Lotoka with the chief medical advisor, and we sat down with our teams in Lotoka Hospital who have been at the front line of managing our patients uh, aboard a quarantine COVID-19. And we were able to also link up with Zoom with our uh, a team that was in the uh, isolation facility, a young group of uh, dedicated health professionals uh, who uh, have been trained uh, they've been through the uh, postgraduate training program. It's nice to see Dr. Raymond and staff members uh, Anasa and their team. And I realize that uh, you know we all have a part to play. As much as they have an important part to play in being at the front line, the true front line, and uh, making sure that there is uh, uh, no uh, spread of COVID-19 from that facility into the community. But also we have an important part to play in uh, terms of supporting the work that they do and really the work of development partners such as Japan, the ADB, and coordination through UNICEF helps us to be able to resource our frontliners so that they are kept safe and they keep our community safe. I'm also pleased this morning to announce that uh, from the uh, Minister of Health uh, reorganization, uh, Dr. Alisa Saukan continues as a work as a head of health protection, and Dr. Anna Tamboa, who was the subdivisional medical officer in Ciro Namosi, and the champion of the measles campaign is now the general manager of the incident management team and she's here with us today. And it's so nice to be able to see that we have two uh, very brilliant young women at the fight for COVID-19. And it goes in hand in hand with the vision of this government that we will continue to support our women so that they can be able to achieve the goals that they have uh, in whatever uh, calling that they have in their lives. I would like to finish this morning by saying that Fiji is a hub, and we recognize that. We have uh, uh, Pacific Islanders that are coming regularly now into our Minister of Health office, asking to have their COVID-19 test so that they can be able to go back to their countries. And those who have come from their countries uh, asking to have their COVID-19 test so that they can go on and using Fiji as a transit place. You may also be aware that we have now the blue lane and the uh, uh, reforms that we have put in place as a government for a COVID-safe uh, country. And in doing so, in supporting Fiji, you are indeed supporting the Pacific. And we have uh, all throughout this time, and uh, uh, Mr. Yet will tell you that, uh, Your Excellency, we have not hesitated to share uh, our experiences, though it may be limited, 
um, with our Pacific Island neighbors so that they will be kept abreast of best practice in regards to COVID-19. So once again, thank you for this uh, 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 donation that's here today and also the support to all our frontliners and also supporting the work that we do in the Ministry of Health. And I can assure you that the lendings that we have, we are more than willing to share with our neighbors and also with the world. Now we'll